In this, my first video on conflict archaeology, I'm looking at the former fighter aircraft base RAF Hornchurch. Please like, share and subscribe. RAF Hornchurch is a former Royal Air Force sector station. The site today is the Ingeborn Country Park, managed by the Essex Wildlife Trust. The airfield was known as Sutton's Farm in the First World War after the farm that preceded it. Its existence was for the protection of London, being 14 miles north northeast of Charing Cross. The airfield closed shortly after the war ended, but was requisitioned in 1923 by the expanding Royal Air Force and reopened as a larger fighter station in 1928. The airfield was intended to cover both London and the Thames Corridor from German air attacks and was a key air force installation clo until closing in 1962. It was in 1915 the London Air Defence Area was established. Airfields were built around London for the defence in response to increasing threats from airships. Sutton's Farm and Hamel Farm, near what became the Second World War airfield at Fairlock to the northeast, were selected to cover London's eastern approaches. Sutton's Farm became operational on the 3rd of October 1915. Airfields around London were organised into 39 Home Defence Squadron in April 1916. The First World War ended with the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, and soon afterwards Sutton's farm was deemed super superfluous and closed, until the 27th of February 1920 it was retained on the List C, stations temporarily retained for service purposes, after which the Air Force gave up possession. Most of the buildings were demolished and the land went back to farming. It wasn't long before a decision was made to expand the Royal Air Force. Former First World War airfields were inspected to ascertain suitability for reuse. It was felt Sutton's farm was ideally located to defend London's northeastern approaches again. In addition to repurchasing the original land, some further land to the south was also acquired. The enlarged airfield opened as RAF Sutton's farm in April 1928 and two months later was renamed RAF Hornchurch, and the first unit to take up residency was number 111 Squadron, led by Squadron Leader Keith Park, also the first squad station commander. Later, he was to command 11 Group Fighter Command, covering London and South East England in the Battle of Britain. In the Second World War, Hornchurch was a sector airfield for 11 Group in the Battle of Britain in 1940. After the war, Hornchurch was home to Flying Training Command's Air Crew Selection Centre for 10 years before that moved to RAF Biggin Hill in Kent. Until closure in July 1962, a balloon unit was retained for parachute training of military personnel. Most of the former administrative and technical areas, including the three hangars, were demolished in the 1960s and a housing estate built on them. The name of the streets on the estate commemorate the airfield and its pilots, including Rushana Walk, Curtin Close, Tempest Way, Robinson Close, Tuck Road, Barder Way, and Mullen Square. What was the officers' mess has become a medical centre in Astra Close. In the 1970s there was gravel extraction and infilling with rubbish. Then in 1980 work commenced on landscaping to create the country park.